And joining us now is Assemblymember Mark Joni, Democratic candidate for the 13th City District, uh, I should say City Council District seat. And we welcome you now to the show. Good to have you on In the District. Good to be back. Good. Thanks so talk to us me. about this. How are things going? You're getting close to the finish line here. Life is good. God is great. Uh, we're almost there, uh, 10 days away, and I'm excited. What do you feel makes a difference for you in this campaign and why you think voters will vote for you? Well, they, uh, there's a track history here that you can easily follow. Uh, it's been ongoing for five years. Uh, I've been consistent. I've worked. I've shown myself, and I've been there all along. So it's about knowing the needs of the community and making sure that you really are a voice for them. So when we talk about the needs of the community, obviously there's several that come to the, to the forefront. First of all, a lot of people are concerned about safety, quality of life. And I asked this question of all of the candidates. I said, do you feel safe walking down your own block these days? And if not, what can we do to improve quality of life? Well, you know, one of the biggest challenges that we have is making our community safer. So this is relatively a safe community to begin with. But making it safer is the challenge. And safety begins not only at your doorstep, but on the way to work and on your way back from work to your home, uh, especially for our children. Uh, when it comes to safety uh, and feeling safe in this community, I think the NYPD has done a good job. We can do certainly more. And I'm looking forward to bringing back the drug module to make sure that uh, the opioid crisis is addressed. And certainly I don't care your wherewithal I, or your profession or how successful you've been. There isn't a family out there that isn't threatened by this opioid addiction problem that we're all facing today. That's a big, it's a big uh, problem, truly indeed. Talk about homelessness for an issue, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and I know in your district there's particularly the challenge of the possible homeless shelter, but let's look at some numbers here. 47% of Bronx residents struggle with just basic expenses to live, and then you got another 55,000 people who are currently in this borough that really don't even have a place to sleep, and I know that there's controversy about having a homeless shelter in your area. Give me your thoughts about, and if not your area, then what can we do to address this whole issue of homelessness? Well, we have to prioritize, and certainly keeping people in their home is going to be less expensive than displacing them and putting them into shelters. And I believe this burden of being our brother's keeper should be shared by the entire city. Unfortunately, the borough of the Bronx has been inundated by homeless or supportive housing altogether. We have 41% more than Brooklyn, twice as much as Queens, 13% more than Manhattan, and 99% more than Staten Island without getting the additional resources that those families need and the community needs to make sure that we maintain the quality of life, that we improve our quality of life. The support of housing and these decent families are a burden on our systems, from health care, which is evident by the long wait hours, to the educational system, to policing, and to taking affordable housing units off the market that would go to Bronx sites. That option is no longer available because we're converting them into supportive housing units and those families are coming from all parts of the city, the state and the country. And so when we talk about homelessness, obviously a big issue for us here in the borough, but not only that, you have to attach jobs because jobs are also an equivalent as well. We look at the statistics, uh, you know, the unemployment rate is down to 5.7% now in the, in, uh, in the Bronx, but we know that that's uh, gone down a lot since 2010 when it was 14, uh, about 14%. Your take on the job situation and what we can do to improve that, and uh, are you satisfied with what you're seeing now? Look, I'm grateful for the amount of jobs that we currently have in unemployment are in the double digits, uh, but we don't have good paying jobs. And certainly going back to the point that the rent wouldn't be that expensive if you were earning more. Uh, and certainly we need better paying jobs. We need careers, permanent jobs. Uh, it shouldn't be just a minimum wage salary or just slightly above that. We need jobs that allow us to flourish, raise a family, and be independent and feel secure and put something aside for our golden ages. Mm -hmm. Transportation, got to get there, uh, talk about that. And we, so many, so much, we have a whole show on transportation, but uh, I know that you recently uh, had some dealings in terms of the ferry. So mm -hmm. talk to us about your testifying and, and where you stand with transportation now. I recently testified before the city council and made the argument that, especially the Throgs Neck area, is a true transportation desert. We don't have the options. And a ferry would be an alternative to transportation that we currently don't have and offer a quick solution to a major problem. We need additional buses, select buses. Our buses during peak traffic time are traveling at less than five miles an hour. You can walk further, faster than you can by taking trust. And then the question of taking a car to the bus, a bus to the train, 
isn't working for us and this community. It's an injustice, and the borough of the Bronx deserves better. We've earned it, and we certainly should have those transportation options available to us. So you're in favor of having a ferry? I'm in favor of improving everything that we have. A ferry will only add to the options, and I know Bronx sites will take advantage of it. The 13th Council District would benefit from it. We have options, not only Soundview that will come in the near future, but certainly Throgs Neck, Ferry Point Park, and Orchard Beach, which would allow people to commute, park their cars, and jump on reliable transportation. Uh, our buses are overwhelmed, and our trains, or the MTA overall, is a uh, real uh, problem, problem for the entire city. Mm -hmm. And we need these solutions, and we need solutions fast. We need to stop bickering about it and come up with alternatives. So for you as a candidate, obviously there's a few candidates in the race, and people have the opportunity to pick their candidate, but why would somebody pick Mark Joni if they're watching right now and saying, he's the man I should be voting for? Well, this community knows me before I got into politics. My heart's always been in the right place. For the last five years, I've truly served this community seven days a week, waking up each morning, thinking of how I can make a positive difference in someone's life. At the end of the day, questioning, did I make a positive difference? And that's what pushes me. Public service has been the most humbling, rewarding experience of my life. It is about giving back. I have five years of experience. I've, found, I've negotiated five on-time budgets. I have the relationships in Albany, which are going to be needed uh, to bring into City Hall and deliver for this community. This community in the overall Bronx is going to have a real voice that is going to be taking on the difficult issues that Bronxite face day in and day out. And those supporters will never regret the support that they gave me. Talk to us about between Albany and New York. We just got a couple of minutes left. Obviously, New York is a, a lot different than Albany. Some people ask the question, why come on down to, why come on down to this city? Well, over the last five years, it's pretty easy. All of the issues that I've been dealing with, most of the issues in the district are local issues. So it's about crime, graffiti, potholes, street lights. It's about quality of life. It's about skunks, possums, raccoons, transportation, all of these issues are dealt with in the city. I know I can make a bigger difference than I have, and I love dealing with constituent issues. So we do some great work in Albany, and a $153 billion budget and legislation that impacts the state, and sometimes the first in the country to do so. Uh, but New York City is where it's all about. It's about the day in and day out issues that impact all New Yorkers, and that begins with City Hall, and that's why I'm looking forward to being there. And if elected, what's the first thing, uh, first priority in office? Just the way the campaign started. It starts with a survey, figuring out what's important for the communities. And we have so many different neighborhoods, and each neighborhood has different needs. So in some areas, it's about real estate taxes that are forcing our homeowners out of their homes and raising water and sewer rates. In other areas, it's about affordable apartments, jobs. It's about safety, quality of life. Each neighborhood has its own unique needs, and I'm looking forward to addressing them all. Mark Jonai. He's the candidate for the 13th Councilmatic District. Thank you so much for coming and joining us on the, in the district. Come on back and see us. November 7th, vote Joni because he cares and no to the Constitutional Convention. All right, Mark Joni, we thank you for joining us. We want you to stay tuned. We'll be back with more right after this.